no matter how many expressions I pull or faces I make or things I say. Jump up! <laughs> can't really describe how good that was. So in Japan there are five types of famous beef and today we're off to go and see one of them and that is Yonezawa beef. The city of Yonezawa is in South Yamagata which is the place I've been living the last three years but somehow I've never actually eaten any steak from there so this is it. This is what I've been waiting for for three years. I'm joined today by Ryotaro. Hello. He's Japanese. I'm Japanese. But he thinks he's British. Oh, I, I am. <laughs> what do you think? That's exactly what we sound like in the UK. Do I, like a, do I sound like a pop? <laughs> Incredible oppressions of a British person aside. Yes. So what are we doing today? So we're eating the beef tomorrow. So today we're going to a ryokan. Ryokan. Right? Jap traditional Japanese inn. That's right. Why this yep. ryokan though? Why did we choose this one? Okay, um, yeah, well, when I saw it on the website, I saw this really great outside bath with a waterfall. Oh, like an onsen. That's right, that's right. And with the snow, I think it, sound, um, it, looks, it looked very nice. So we've got an onsen, a hot spring. Uh, Ryokan, traditional Japanese inn, and Yonezawa beef. Beef. This is going to be a good trip. Yeah. This is uh, Ryotaro's music. <laughs> Madonna. This is like what? This came out in 80 something. And you know it, right? I've never heard it in my life. Oh, really? Oh, seriously? I don't mind Madonna's 80s stuff, though. It's quite good. It's quite good, actually. The ones that should be released in the 80s. Yeah. And it all went downhill after the 90s. Yeah, it's so Crap. Before checking in, we first decided to explore the local town, famous for its hot springs, after the Ryokan gave us both some stylish silver coats. Truly, the fun never ends. Look at him go. So what is this? This is... It's a, it's a hot spring, I think, actually. That's your hot spring that you can drink. Oh, it's quite hot. Oh, it's 72 degrees. It's quite sulfuric. It is, and it's salty, actually, I tried. So I think uh, you should as well. How much do you drink? Uh, just a little bit. I will, well, I don't know, as much as you want. It's good for your circulation, blood circulation. Oh my God, it smells like rotten yeah, egg. Just, just try, just sip. Whoa. It's good for your health. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> it is, isn't it? But it's good for your health. Oh. <laughs> so what did you think? Nah, it's like just salt water. <laughs> like drinking seawater that smells like rotten eggs. Ah, that's true. What's, what's she doing? Fishing uh, for eggs. No, actually, oh, uh, she's, she's soaking eggs. Soaking she's soaking the eggs. Soaking the eggs. Actually, they soak uh, eggs um, in hot spring for, I think, 10 minutes or something. 10 minutes. Yeah, so, uh, so that it gets, you know, half uh, soft, half firm. And, uh, and you put some soy sauce on the top and you eat it. So you eat it? Yeah, you eat it. Yes, we get to, you get, we get to eat that tomorrow morning, actually. Wow. So here's some eggs that are being boiled now, presumably. Yeah. So how long will they be there? 12, ma 12, uh, 12 minutes? 12 minutes. Whose eggs are they? Uh, I don't know. I just left them there. Just pretty, them in. pretty confident. See, yeah. I mean, this shows our safetyness. The safety of Japan. Japan. You can leave your eggs boiling in exactly. some water down the street, and no one will ever come and take them. You couldn't do that in the UK. No, you no, You couldn't no, leave no. your eggs in the water on no, the street. No, no, no. They'll be gone in 25 seconds. The most dangerous thing in Japan, ISIS. ISIS. <laughs> real, real, real ISIS. Real ISIS. Real. Look at the size of them. It's massive, isn't it? How many people a year do you think meet their demise by like, standing underneath those? <laughs> well, actually, it happens a lot, actually. You know, I, well, I had it once, yeah. It just came off uh, um, um, onto my head. And you didn't die? No, I didn't die. I'm a strong guy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> After exploring the town and its delicious mineral water, we headed back to the real calm to check into our rooms before going into the hot spring. So the thing I love about Ryokans is the rooms are just so peaceful and relaxing. In many ways you do feel like you've gone back in time, with the exception 
of the Panasonic television and a few other items. And I find it a really great place to just disconnect from the outside world and just relax and unwind. With the view of the snow coming down outside, it's, it all comes together to create just this really peaceful, wonderful atmosphere. Um, with the exception of the snow coming off of the roof like that. Just your colour. Yeah. I'm, what, I'm a purple guy? I think you are a purple guy. Oh, really? When you come in to real current room, then um, you're going to have this. You see yukata? Yukata. Some, some people say like kimono, but kimono is like a really kind of thick, you know, colorful, the ones that the, uh, we mm. wear on uh, uh, to celebrate something. But in yoga, we call it yukata. It's really thin. Well, okay. You've got this big towel, and then a bag with small towel inside. Big towel is to wipe your body off after you get into the bath. Small towel is the one you take in. Modesty towel. What is true? Modesty towel. Man. You cover your private part of your body, uh, so you can take <laughs> this into uh, into the bath. But one thing you must not do is please do not soak this one into the water. So what you do? What you do while you are in the, in the bath? You put your towel on the head. Let's see what you look like with the yukata. Okay, alright. Oh shit, yeah. Sorry. So, we're about to go into the onsen. Let's change into the yukata. So, oh, so there you go. Like a Jedi Knight, but better. Only problem with yukatas is it really does make your stomach stick out. So, if you're like me, you have to stand up straight and uh, give the illusion that you're fit. Let's go. <laughs> what a way to enter an onsen. Um, you have to put your underwear into this and a towel. Remember um, what I told you before? Big towel inside, small towel with you to the room. All right? That's about it. So uh, we have to take a close off. So over. Freezing cold. Okay, we're not, cold. I can't actually show you much because we're not wearing anything. But this is what an outdoor onsen looks like. Got a bench there for when you need a bit of time out. Right. Hot bath. Awesome waterfall. Falling snow. This is the reason. This is like my favourite thing in Japan. It's so cold. It's As of right now, it's what? This is January and it's snowing and we are still not into the bath. Alright, okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da. This is it. Let's go back. That. That's, not, that's not really proper. So, there you go. That's what it looks like in an onsen. And uh, uh, they're so nice. Absolutely beautiful. Very uh, mellow. Very, very relaxed. Do you enjoy that? Oh, I loved it. I just absolutely loved it. And with that, with that waterfall and everything, I was so bad. The waterfalls, the snow. I know. It's perfect. After relaxing in the onsen, we headed over to our private dining room for an incredible feast which would be hosted by the owner of the Kajikasu Ryokan, Mr. Sato. Look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. It's the meat. It's the Yomizawa beef. Look at the presentation. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. This is what it's all about. And beautiful snowy scene outside. had such an amazing dinner this evening. Uh, to call it a dinner wouldn't seem right. It was felt more like an experience. What with all the little dishes, the amazing, beautiful presentation, uh, the copious amounts of sake. And I think the best thing about eating at a Ryokan like that is the sort of pacing of the meal. It's very nicely paced out, so you never feel stuffed, you never feel really too full. Shabu so, shabu. Yeah, yeah. Shabu shabu is a dish where thinly sliced beef is boiled in hot water. The term shabu shabu is an onomatopoeia derived from the sound emitted when the beef is stirred through the boiling water. Before eating it, you typically dip it into a vinegar soy sauce, and it tastes incredible. A bit hot. Mmm, mm. smells good. <laughs> Bang. Very good. Very, very good. And this beef mm. drink. Nihonshu, very nice. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nihonshu is very good. 
I agree. Yeah. Best of all, we were joined by the owner, Mr. Sato, who was such a really, really nice guy. Maybe I'm saying that because he gave me copious amounts of sake, or maybe I'm saying that because he genuinely is a really nice guy. ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがと
ever do that in Japan. Yeah, it ruins the flavour of the steak. Just try it again. <laughs> the tears of joy. You know what I'm doing now? I'm almost <laughs> crying. No. I'm climbing the stairs to heaven. Oh. <laughs> Not quite yet because I've got left. I've got some left. <laughs> The juice coming out of the juice mm. and the juice. Mm. And um, it's just spread. If he could, if he could describe mm. it in one word in English, what would that word be? If you can English, what would that word be? Happy. <laughs> <laughs> so again, happy. <laughs> happy. How was it? How was that it? was the best female cow I've ever eaten. Female best, cow? Best yeah. cow in general I've ever eaten. That was amazing. No matter how many expressions I pull or faces I make or things I say, I can't really describe how good that was. Uh, I've eaten, last year I ate Corby beef, which is the most famous. Uh, but I couldn't finish it, I didn't really enjoy it. It's too rich, there's too much fat, and it's too rich. This is perfect. Amazing. From start to finish. Come here. You want Again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sato-san. Mm. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thank you very much. If you're in Japan and have the chance, staying at a Japanese inn and relaxing in an onsen should be at the absolute top of your to-do list. Ryokans can be found throughout Japan, but if you're interested in staying at the Kaji Castle Ryokan in Yonezawa, ranked as one of the best Ryokans in North Japan, you can find all the details in the description box below. And if you're looking to try some of the finest beef in Japan, whilst the Kongokaku restaurant we visited is also in Yonezawa, fortunately they also have a branch at Tokyo Station, the details of which you can find below. I cannot recommend it enough to anyone looking to try what might be the best steak you'll ever have. As for me, I'm going to sit in this chair, acting all natural and pretending to be cool, even though I've obviously set up the camera to stage this final closing scene. Yeah. Anyway, many thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.